Today's notes are on triangle inequalities. So at the top of the page in that shaded box, it says in a triangle, the longest side is opposite the blank angle. So in the picture to the right, the longest side would be this side here. And that is opposite the largest angle. Okay, so um, the longest side is opposite the largest. So this would be the longest side. The next blank, it says the shortest side is opposite. So opposite the smallest angle, we have the shortest side. Okay, so we're just going to focus on that uh, theorem first. Number one, identify the longest, middle, and shortest side of triangle X, Y, Z. Well, we first want to know all of the angles before we can decide which is the longest side, the middle side, shortest side. However, if you have an obtuse angle, the other two angles must be acute. So we know right now that XZ is the longest side. Okay, now to determine um, the remaining angle, to determine which is the middle side, which is the shortest side. So this was the longest. So the three angles of a triangle up to 180, we know that. So 98 and 45 have a sum, A plus 513 carry the one, of 143. Okay, now I'm going to take that and subtract it from 180 to find the remaining angle measure. I need to borrow. 10 minus 3 is 7. 7 minus 4 is 3. That would give us an angle measure of 37 degrees. And 37 is smaller than 45, so opposite the 37, this is going to be the smallest leaving YZ in the middle. So middle side would be YZ. Make sure you have the line over the top for the segment. And then the shortest side, XY. Identify the largest, middle, and smallest angles. Okay, The largest angle is opposite the longest side. The smallest angle is opposite the shortest. So our longest side is the 14. And we know all three sides. So that's how we can determine which is the largest, smallest, and middle angle. So opposite the 14 would be angle F. So that's the largest. Opposite the shortest side, which would be the 8. Opposite the 8 is angle E. So that's the smallest, so in the middle is angle D. Number three, if you were to read that, it says that in triangle ABC, so let's actually give ourselves a picture. So here's A, B, C. So let's take in blue here. What this is saying, AB, the symbol is greater than AC. So it's saying AB is longer or has a greater length than AC. The next inequality says that BC is greater than AC or the length is greater. So that's saying that side BC is also longer than AC. Well, if they're both longer than AC, this is telling us that AC is the shortest side. And we need that because we're finding the smallest angle. So if I highlight AC, the angle opposite AC would be angle B. So the answer is angle B. I like number four. And I like number four because it brings us back to an exterior angle of a triangle. So 
it says in triangle ABC, the measure of angle A is 30 degrees, and the measure of an extra angle at B. So this is going to help me draw it. Okay, I usually draw the exterior angle problems like this. So the exterior angle is here. And it says the exterior angle is right at B. So I'm going to put B here. It doesn't matter where you put the A and the C. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to the problem that says the measure of angle A is 30. So I'm going to label this 30 degrees. And the exterior angle at B, so at exterior angle B, we have an interior angle and an exterior angle. The exterior angle is 120. Okay, what is the longest side of the triangle? Well, knowing this is 120, along this straight line here, we have a linear pair, which is 180 degrees. So 180 minus 120 means that angle is 60. Okay, moving over to the triangle, I have two angles of the triangle right now. I can find the third by adding them up and subtracting from 180. 30 plus 60 is 90, and 180 minus 90 is 90. So this is, I'm going to put a box, this is a right triangle. Okay? To answer the question, what is the longest side? The longest side is opposite the biggest angle. So opposite this 90 degree angle is going to be side A, B. So the answer is A, B because it's opposite the largest angle. Number five, it says in triangle ABC, so I'm going to draw triangle ABC. It says angle B is 120, edge of angle A is 55, and D is a point on AC. So I'm going to put D here such that it bisects angle A, B, C. Well, A, B, C is the same as angle B because that's the middle letter, but if you trace it, A, B, C is this angle right here. So it's going to cut it in half. Okay, it told us that angle B was 120, so that means each piece is going to be 60 degrees because that's half of 120. Measure of angle A is 55. What is the longest side of triangle? I'm just going to highlight that um, in blue. Which is the longest si side of the triangle ABD? So this triangle right here. Well, in any triangle, there's 180 degrees. So I'm going to add up what I know. 55 and 60 is 115 and then subtract that from 180 and we get 65 degrees. So 65 happens to be the largest angle and opposite that angle is side AB. So the answer to this multiple choice question is number one. On the back side, let's lower the menu. It says the first bullet the sum, and sum means to add, of the lengths of any two sides. So when you add any two sides, that sum has to be greater than the third side. And my hint is to add the two small sides first. So if I trace with different colors, if I add AB and I add BC, that sum must be greater than the third side, which would be AC. Switching to a different color, when I add AC and I add BC, that must be greater than AB. And last, the only side I'm not including here, so if I add AB and I add AC, that must be greater than BC. That must always be true. If you have to find the length okay, of the third side of a triangle giving two. So over here we're given two sides which are four and seven and we need to find the length of this third side, okay. To do that, when given two sides of the triangle, I want you to find the sum of the given sides which means to add your given sides. So if we add four plus seven is eleven. 
Then I want you to find the difference, which means to subtract the numbers. Always subtract the smaller from the larger. So 7 minus 4 is 3. The third side, okay, write the answer like this. Your third side, when that's written between these two symbols, okay, that means between. Your, whoops, I got to spell between correctly. The third side must be between 3 and 11. So the difference is always going to be the smaller number. The sum is going to be your larger number. So we put our smaller number, use the inequality symbol. Um, in this case, it's x for the third side, less than 11. Okay. You can also write the, in words, the third side must be between 3 and 11. So let's look at number 6. Find the possible lengths for the third side. So we add the two numbers, subtract them. So add 7 plus 9 is 16. 9 minus 7 is 2. Okay? So the length of that third side, JM, so JM must be between 2 and 16. If you want to write it as an equality, again, put JM between the 2, smaller than larger, with this inequality symbol. So you can write it in words. Or, in, or using symbols, okay? Number seven, which set of numbers represents the length of the sides of a triangle? Well, when we add any two sides, it must be greater than the third. And my hint was to add um, the two smallest first. So I'm gonna rewrite every set that's not in order in order. So 5, 13, 18, smallest to largest, 2 smallest to largest. Number 3 would be 7, 16, 24. And then 8, 15, and 26. Just so that I have the two smaller numbers right next to each other. So if I go and I add these two numbers, 5 plus 13 is 18. I said that must be greater than 18. It's not. Okay. So this is not a choice. Add these two smaller, 16 and, or 6 and 17 rather, is 23. 23 is larger than 22. Okay? That could work. Over here, 7 plus 16 is um, 23. And 23 is not larger than that third side, 24. And then 5 are 15 rather and 8 is also a sum of 23 and that is not larger than the 26 so that's out when you add any two sides it must be greater than the third so number two is our answer choice in triangle ABC it says the side length AB is 14 Side length BC is 9. What's the length of AC? Well, we add the two numbers and subtract them to find what the third side could be. 14 plus 9 is 23. 14 minus 9 is 5. So it can't be one of those two. So we can cross those out. It has to be between those two numbers. So 5, 23, BC must be between those two. And the number that's between is 13. Number 9, it says the length of two sides are 4 and 8. The length of the third side may not be. So add the two numbers, subtract, we get 12 and 4. Okay? It says it may not be. Okay? It's not what it could be. It has to be between 4 and 12. Well, 4 is not between, 5 is between, 6 is between, 7 is between. So not the keyword is the answer choice, 4. And the last one, 
in triangle ABC. It says length AB is 10, length BC is 5. Which expression can be true for AC? So if you add 10 and 5, you get 15, subtract, you get 5. So AC must be between, so if you put AC between the smaller and larger number, here's your inequality symbol, which would be answer choice, 5 and 15, 3.